Hello everyone and welcome back to the lab. In this video I'll be preparing benzaldehyde by the oxidation of benzyl alcohol using nitric acid and sodium nitrite as a catalyst. In this video I will use 31.1 milliliters of benzyl alcohol, 13.1 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid, 1 gram of sodium nitrite, and 100 milliliters of water. It would also be useful to have a large amount of sodium hydroxide on hand. I have measured out our three reactants. Here is the concentrated nitric acid, here is the benzyl alcohol, and here is the water. First, I will add the water, this is 98 milliliters, to the flask. Now I will turn on stirring. and pour in the concentrated nitric acid. This is one gram of sodium nitrite dissolved in approximately two milliliters of water. And I will now add this with rapid stirring slowly to the flask. There's a slight yellow color developing in the mixture as the nitrous acid that is produced decomposes a little bit. It won't happen too much, but it is important to have ventilation. Now I will add the benzyl alcohol. Benzyl alcohol isn't very soluble in water, so it makes very small droplets and this is what makes the liquid look cloudy. I will now add a condenser and hook that up. Before I start heating, I dissolved a large amount of sodium hydroxide in water, and I set up a tube leading from the top of the condenser into this inverted funnel. Um, during the reaction, um, a lot of nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen monoxide will be produced. So it's important to have something to neutralize the gases that come out. Now that I have my trap set up, I will start strong stirring. And heating with the heating mantle. It's now currently at around 85 Celsius, and you can see the mixture has darkened. At around 70 Celsius, it started to bubble. And I'm going to try and keep this flask between 90 degrees Celsius and a low boil. The paper suggests that I should keep it at 90 Celsius, but I can't really achieve that good temperature control with a heating mantle like this. So I'll just try to keep it as close to 90 as possible, and if not that, then over a little bit. We are currently two and a half hours in. As you can see, the mixture is darkened to an orange and the rate of bubbles coming out has slowed down, but it still happens. Another hour and a half to go. It has been 3 hours and 40 minutes, and the gas production slowed down to almost nothing, so I decided it was time to stop. Stop stirring, two layers formed. This is the bottom layer. Um, it has been transferred to a separatory funnel and washed with a bit of distilled water. I will now wash it with a sodium bicarbonate solution until it stops bubbling, and then I will wash it with a sodium chloride solution to dry it. I ended up with 23.34 grams of this red-orange liquid, which if you, if you waft carefully towards yourself, has a delicious aroma of uh, almonds or marchino cherries, and it is benzaldehyde. Um, subtracting a little bit for water impurities, because it's not totally dry, um, 
I would say you can get 23 grams of benzaldehyde from this. That is a 72.2% yield. It's not as good as the paper that I was reading from would suggest, but then again, I didn't control the temperature very well, and I didn't follow the instructions exactly to make it easier for myself. So that's not bad. I'm not drying it completely because I will combine it with some other benzaldehyde I have to do a final purification before I use it for another reaction that will come up in another video soon.